y'all? I ain't seen y'all in a while. Look, so, I got a little story for you guys today. So, um, I know I've been gone for a while. Like, I haven't made a video in months. And I know you guys have been, you know, fiending for a video. You feel me? So, I got you. I'm gonna try to make more videos, you know, more frequent. Blah, blah, blah. But today I got a video about my job. I work at a shoe store and I deal with a lot of people that's a little out there, you feel me? Stories about multiple experiences I had working at this place so far. So, let's get into story one. It was a guy, he came into my job, right? And he was smelling like 32 pounds of ass. That's only the finest of it, you feel me? As soon as bro walked in, the whole store smelled like cheeks everywhere. It was horrible. So keep in mind, he already got kicked out of like two other stores before he came into my store, right? So the mall security guys, they told him to leave the mall and come back another day. Like, change yourself. Like, you gotta leave. Dip, dip. Skr, skr. Bro was not trying to leave. He came into my job, right? And he walked all the way in the back of the store, past the shoes, past the beanies, past the socks, past all the stuff. He went straight to the backpacks. And as soon as I saw him grab a backpack, he grabbed it so aggressive. Like, the backpack owed him money. Like... The dude was like this. Which one of these backpacks I want? Y'all got other backpacks? I'll take this one. The nigga was so angry at the backpacks. I don't know why he was angry. Moving on, so I go in the back room, get some shoes for a different customer, right? And I come back, and I go to the cash register, and the dude is at the cash register with this big ass backpack, right? I didn't even know we sold that backpack, so. I ring them up, right? And as I'm ringing them up, keep in mind, there's two machines. There's one machine to show you the price. You can put your card in it. It won't work if you put your card in it because, I don't know, it just won't work if you put your card in it, right? So there's a little machine that works. You put your card in a little machine, and then, you feel me, they give you the receipt and stuff like that. That's how you pay for things. You put it in a little machine. So the dude put his chip in a big machine. I'm like, uh, oh, my bad. I didn't tell you. Um, The big machine doesn't work. Only the little machine works, right? He was like, you know what? I'm not gonna say how the little encounter went down. I'm gonna show you guys. Check. Oh, what's up, G? How's it going? Y'all smell that? Y'all smell that? All right, um, <clears throat> will it be a card or cash? It'll be card. I'll pay with my card. All right, you can put your card in the machine anytime you want. Thank you, playboy. Uh Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, it actually won't work in that machine. You gotta take it out and put it in the, uh, the little machine. You sure? Mm. Nah, man, it's, it's good. Just type your little numbers in again over there. I got this. Trust me. Just type, I got this. No, I got this. Just, I got it. Watch. It's good. Alright, um, we can try it again. Hey man, it your machine broke, man. Why it don't work, man? What's going on? Huh? It won't work because that's the big machine. It only works in a little machine. You gotta take your card out and um insert it into the little machine. That's the only way it'll work. Man, why you didn't tell me that earlier? Got me looking dumb. Um. Let's try it again. I, I used the big machine. Top your numbers in. I got this. Don't worry. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> so after that back and forth went on for like a good like three more minutes, the uh, security guards came in and told him like, didn't we tell you like get out the store, dude? Like why are you, why are you still in the mall? You feel me? So they took him out of the store, took him out of the mall and was like, you can come back some other time. Like right now you can't because you got all kinds of shit on your booty. That's the end of the first story. I got two more stories for you guys. So story number two, it's about, I was at work and um, it was an Asian couple and they also had like two, their children, I guess, corner. And I walk up to them like, um, has anybody helped you yet? They're like, nah, but uh, can I get that shoe right there in a the size nine and a half? I'm like, um, we might not have it in the back. You feel me? I can go double check for you though. So the Asian guy, he was like, um, yeah, thank you. But as I was over there, the, uh, the little kids were just staring at me like, so, once again, here we go. I'm not gonna tell it, I'm gonna act it out. Got you. Here you go, G, I got you, uh, 
Two nine and a half. Here you go. Then, as I bring the shoebox over to the man, the woman, and the children, the little baby looks at the mom, and the baby says, Mommy, why is he so brown? I didn't say it out loud, but in my head I was thinking like, this little racist little baby, like why am I so brown? Cause I be in the sun too much! Dang! But the mom, as soon as the baby said it, the mom looked at me and the mom proceeded to say, Oh my God, I am so sorry. He's not usually like this. <laughs> I didn't want to be mean, you feel me? So all I said was, um, it's good. That is the end of story number. Uno, dos. Dos! I speak Spanish, you feel me? Story number one, two, three. You feel me? So, as you guys probably already saw in uh, this video, where I work, we have a all blue shirt. All blue shirt. This guy comes in, right? He's all blooded up, you feel me? Blood! All blooded up, like all red, you feel me, from his head to his toe. And he got tattoos on his face, you feel me? Where I work, like, as soon as somebody walks in the store, we gotta like greet him, like, oh, what's up, how you doing? As soon as bro walks in, I greet him. I'm like, what's up, how you doing, G? I got an all blue shirt on. He all blooded up from his head to his toe. I got all blue, he got all red. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna show you. BRB. Oh, what's up with you, G, how you doing? He looks at me and he says, What's going on, blood? So at that moment, you feel me? I'm thinking like, oh, whoa, I'm done. No more D. Lacey. But you feel me? I'm going out like that. So I looked at him and I said, hey. Whoa, I ain't got no issue with you, blood. I got some bookies in the back. Maybe that wasn't the thuggest thing to say, but I got my life. Do you have yours? And with that being said, that is the end of my stories today. I don't really have an outro yet. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to make more videos. Probably once a week, hopefully once a week. Everybody, if you liked the video, please subscribe, like, and do whatever else you want to do with the video. Post it, hack me, delete it. Don't ha you better not hack me. Sayonara. I'm gonna see everybody later. Go.